Rick's Corner. The man, the myth, the legend. Now on with the show. Hi everybody. Welcome to Rick's Corner. Many of you ask, and it's over and over again, about um, training back in the 70s and how we trained because it was the old school, it was the classic body and what got us the best results. And I've been over a lot of things several times, but new things come into my mind all the time that I forget. If we just forget because this city is such a busy city and I have so many things and directions I go in, there's things that just come into my mind later on. But I worked out today and I was thinking about back then what really worked well. Uh, I do it sometimes, it just depends on the, the, the gym and how busy it is. But supersets always got as good results. There was no question in my mind that supersets really worked. Now, what I mean by it, there's very different variations of supersets. The one I'm referring to is opposing muscle groups. For example, we would do bench press and then immediately do a set of chins for the back, so it would be chest and back. Fortunately, in gold, the original one, the bench press rack and the chin rack were right next to each other by the back door. So while one person doing a bench, the other's doing the chin and the back, and they would switch back and forth for four or five sets. Got a tremendous pump between the chest and the back that way. Then we would go to inclines, and we'd superset incline dumbbells or bar, just depends on what we felt like doing that day, and superset was seated lap pulls on the cable. So you're doing chest and back again. Then maybe we go to dumbbell flies on the bench and then superset with one arm pulls. Um, this was pretty good. Now you can vary this with different exercises. So we, let's say we did three exercises, four, four exercises and superset each one with something with for chest and back, chest and back, chest and back. It doesn't matter which ones you're doing. It's whatever works for you. But the idea is to superset the opposing muscle groups the front to the back. It's the same thing with bicep and tricep. You've got two opposing muscle groups. What works best? Supersets, because you're pumping the entire arm. And uh, for example, maybe we would do dumbbell curls, okay? Set of tricep push downs. Then maybe we would do one arm concentration curls with arm behind the head. There's a superset there as well. You have to figure out what works for you. Um, shoulders would do, this actually worked pretty well too. Standing dumbbell presses, Arnold style, you know, with the twisting, superset it with standing lateral raises with the dumbbells, maybe five sets, and then bent over, reverse by themselves. Good exercises, good supersets, it worked great. Squat, superset it with leg extensions, it's really hard, but it works pretty darn good. So you might want to try those supersets with opposing muscle groups. Like I said, when the gym's busy, it's really hard because there's always somebody in your way and you know they have, they have all the rights to the equipment that you do as well, but maybe you can work in. Now the other superset that I tried over the years that I really, really like as well, was preacher curls superset with dumbbell curls. So you do a set of preachers and then do a set of dumbbells. So it's, it's a superset within the muscle. You can do the same thing with triceps and kickbacks. You can find any number of exercises to superset the same muscle with another exercise. This works well too for maybe two or three week period of time and then you have to switch it up because no matter what you do, your body becomes accustomed to everything. It's really amazing how that happens. You get up in the morning, you eat, you go to the gym, the body knows it's going to the gym, has a mind of its own. The other type of superset would be a triset. Now I don't do many of those, it's very time consuming. Um, but you would do three exercises for a body part. So let's say you did dumbbell presses for your chest, superset with flies, and then another set with maybe push-ups with feet elevated between two bars. Those really work. I mean, you have these little stands that you can do dips or push-ups in. You raise your feet on a bench so you're going down at an angle, and you superset that with the flies, your chest will just grow like mad. So that would be a tricep. That's a little more difficult because, like I said before, the gyms get crowded and you can't use everything you want. But it's worth a try. Um, other than the supersets, you're doing straight sets. Like, for example, I did chest today, I did some pressing, I did some incline, I did some pec deck, all separately, and it works fine, but you know, when, you, when you're motivated to really go and you want to get some good results, the supersets work real well. I'd stick between 8 and 10 reps, maybe 6 to 8 reps, you don't have to do high reps on this. Maybe on the push-ups, do 12, because you can do more. Um, you don't have to go real heavy, but you know, 
I think a medium weight is okay. I think a lightweight is, I don't know, I never got much out of lightweights. Um, I just felt like I was going backwards rather than forwards. And they say today, you know, do lightweights, do a lot of reps. I've tried it. You know, I just, it's one of those things that it doesn't seem to last. I don't know if it lasts for you or not, but I still think you need some good resistance in order to break that fiber down and have the muscle grow. So I think supersets is the way to go and you don't have to do a whole lot of them because you're really pumping the muscle at that time to get its maximum peak of pump. And is the pump important to grow? No, not really, but it feels good. You don't have to pump to grow. You just have to get the blood in there and break those cells down and let them rebuild. So superset, uh, give it a try. See how you like it. Comment on it. Send those comments back to the other guys who write in because everybody likes to hear your opinion because some things work for you and then maybe they don't work for others. But I seem to think the supersets work pretty well. Um, if you can't do chin-ups, then you can do pull-downs. So if you're doing a chest machine and you do a set of pull-downs, you can do that as well. You can do an inclined chest press, and then you can go over to do a, a set of seated lap holes or one arms. There's so many variations and exercises, I've probably forgotten more than anybody will ever know. I mean, there's just always variations. Stick to the basics, stick to bodybuilding movements because that's what's going to build your body. It's not bouncing the balls, it's not doing all that stupid stuff that these trainers have you do today. It's basic bodybuilding. Ask Frank Zane, ask Arnold, ask Dave Draper, ask Ed Giuliani, ask any of those guys from our era that trained. It was strictly weights, it was hard training and a lot of good protein. So that's my take on supersets. I hope it helps you. Um, give it a try and then write to us and let us know how it works, but I think you'll make really good results with it. So have a wonderful day. I'm going back to work on my computer. I want to get this message across to you, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching Rick's Corner. Hey, everyone. Now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.